And I've always talked about, you know, one of the things about Justin Turner, I think that makes him such great hitters, is when he has two strikes, he's, he's obviously extremely dangerous. I think he's got a high, you know, 290 average with two strikes, which is better than a lot of guys have with open counts. But you realize how relaxed he is and, you know, go see the ball. He's comfortable with his movements. Um, that average would be higher because I see a lot of pitches that he gets wrong on that aren't strikes. And I think it makes sense with my swings and with my positive counts because I didn't care. I was all or nothing. So I, I didn't care about what I was swinging at. I'm chasing this one. And I had a lot of walks. I think I set the record for the NWAC walks uh, in terms of the NWACs back in, in Washington and, and a couple of teams in Oregon and Idaho. But it was like 59 walks out of 200 bats. So I got to a lot of 3 2 counts, you know, because I'm swinging and missing a 3 1. I'm missing the pitch that I should drive. That's where we look at the swing and miss. We're going to get to two strikes. But how did we get there? Yeah. And again, for college guys, I know a lot, a lot of coaches want to take the first strike. Come on, guys. You know, uh, if your hitters are ready, you need to hit. And, you know, those are good pitches to hit when you realize there's always pitches or strikes are probably good pitches to hit. If you, once you start understanding hitting through spin, wow. But you think about a guy who gets ready is not ready, or, and I got to be ready to go when I step in the box. I am on you, you know. We're talking at, at dinner about go ahead, throw me again, you know, because the guy's not going to throw, he's not going to try to throw you his best slider, zero, zero. He's probably going to throw it because he's trying to get a get me over. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the other magic is with two strikes, pitches don't suddenly change. It's the same pitch you've seen. We make a change. So I think, again, the relaxation is key to really get relaxed. And we got to clear ahead, we can't sit there and say, Oh my God, I hope he doesn't throw his flyer. Da, 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 da. The only thing I sit there and say, okay, lower the zone. Because most of these pitches aren't strikes. You know, and when we're in like a tight zone, it's like I got to go up and then like, you know, let it go. If it's above your hands, it's ball. But again, go early, be relaxed. So you've got the ability to cover your zone. But I think that is a game changer for the teams that do it because. You know, changing your stance and doing anything different puts you at a disadvantage. And who wants to be a disadvantage with two strikes? And if it's an advantage for you, then that's probably the issue.